this is uh, Josh or Senate Day Insulator here and uh, I'm going to estimate it being a 2,500 square foot uh, house. So we've got ourselves a coffered ceiling here that I've been working on because there's a raised section right here that's about 17 inches high and uh, yeah I mean this is pretty complicated in a sense because you've got a slope ceiling here but then there's a flat part here that I had to cover as well and uh, but uh, anyway so the point of this video today we're looking at pot lights so JC had asked that uh, he found cans like aluminum or coffee cans old coffee cans that were covering his pot lights so and he was asking why was that well for one older lights they uh, produce a lot of heat and that's the whole point of the three inch gap because uh, fire places also they require that so you see down there there's that uh, fireplace exhaust and the way that that works you've got the uh, 10 inch hose and then inside of that is a smaller either four or six inch hose and so you've got your uh, the air gap that you require in order for the insulation to directly hit that pipe right you've got that uh, that gap so then it meets fire code um, so those are your new exhausts instead of a chimney then you've got your flexible exhaust there where you can put it so I mean one one thing is, is that that's really nice because then it provides a lot of flexibility for your install for where your fireplace is going to go and then you don't have a brick chimney uh, going through your attic and uh, causing a lot of condensation because as we all know when you've got a chimney inside of your attic uh, I've never seen it where it's a good thing uh, because obviously brick is not the best insulator unless you have well the, the new fiberglass bricks fiberglass infused bricks that uh, provide a little bit more R value to, uh, to your house or to wherever it's installed. So for newer homes, what I mostly see is junction boxes that are installed this way. And then they have a little cap just to keep the vapor barrier in. Uh, this is mostly for that because uh, some other homes, like it's, this doesn't provide uh, enough heat that you, you're, you can have like the fiberglass pretty much almost directly on it. But this is more to keep that uh, vapor barrier because uh, you've got some drum tree boxes that I've shown that are plastic and that provides a little bit better um, R value because it's plastic and not conductive versus obviously you've got you've got your metal outlets or your junction boxes then that's uh, very conductive and not a very good insulator so then you put uh, that vapor barrier on top of that and then it uh, provides that uh, that air seal that you need for your attic. So hopefully that answers your question, JC, with regards to why they put uh, coffee cans over there. They were, in my opinion, most likely trying to keep that vapor barrier going because older junction boxes, the metal ones, they have a lot of holes all over the place where the wires go and uh, also where you can fasten the nails so that uh, you attach your junction box to your trusses or the framing of your ceiling and those holes they are the weak points where heat can escape and vapor can escape so that's why for older uh, junction boxes or newer ones that are still metal you put that uh, nice vapor barrier cap on and seal it with some uh, nice tuck tape all right so Anyway, enjoy the rest of the video. I'm just gonna do a little walkthrough of the rest of this house quickly. And uh, you guys, uh, you know, if you enjoyed this video, give that nice thumbs up and uh, press on the subscribe button below just so that uh, you don't miss uh, any future videos on attic installation tips and my awesome walkthroughs. So I typically post every Tuesday just on tips and various walkthroughs and then Fridays are usually my montage and uh, so those are shorter videos for those that uh, want to have a nice little 
a teaser as to how I go about installing this uh, this loose fill. This is basically what I do for every house. I'm an attic insulator and I uh, work uh, with Owens Corning uh, fiberglass like you see here, uh, Pro Pink. And so right now I'm doing an uh, I'm installing an R60, which is uh, with the new um, CCMC number. It's 21.5 inches in depth that I need to install in order to achieve that R60 of uh, thermal resistance. And uh, so I do that for all the new builds. So we're gonna have to finish this area off and I'm gonna have to climb over top of this cathedral. And then we're going to, uh, to get to the other section real soon. All right. <laughs> 